So first up we have the three loop serpentine. So when this exercise is ridden in a 20 by 40 arena, you're going to ride three half circles, which are approximately 13 meters diameter each. Well, I say approximately, it's round about 13 and a third meters. And this is because the arena is 40 meters long. And because you need to get three loops in it, 40 divided by three equals 13.3, I think it's recurring or something. So you need to ride these half 13 meter circles in order to get three equal loops. Now, if you ride this same exercise, so if you ride a three loop serpentine, but you ride it in a 20 by 60 meter arena, this becomes a little bit easier to manage because now you're riding three half circles of 20 meters diameter. Because you've got a 60 meter arena, you're riding three loops and 60 divided by three equals 20. So that's three half 20 meter circles. Now, hopefully from this, you can see that it's easier to ride this exercise in a 20 by 60 arena than it is in a 20 by 40 arena. And there's two reasons for this. Firstly, it's much easier to find three 20 meter circles than it is to find three 13 meter circles, which can be very difficult to place. The second reason is because a 20 meter circle is bigger than a 13 meter circle. And if you remember back to the presentation that we did on circles bending and flexion, you'll know that the smaller the circle, the more difficult it is for the horse. So because a three loop serpentine in a 20 by 40 meter arena requires these smaller half circles, the horse is required to show more bend through his body therefore making the exercise a little bit more difficult. However, in this arena, the loops are more spread out, which means that the half circles are larger and the horse doesn't have to show as much bend through the body, therefore making the exercise slightly easier. Now, when it comes to riding these serpentines accurately, it can be a little bit difficult, especially when we look at the 20 by 40 arena. I mean, a 13 meter circle is very difficult to place. And unfortunately, the arena letters don't help out much. It's very difficult to measure out 13 meters to try and find out where exactly you have to ride in order to make an accurate loop. Well, I've got a very good tip for you to help you do this. So if you are riding a three loop serpentine, whether you're in a 20 by 40 or a 20 by 60, an easy way to visualize it is to think of the arena being split into three equal parts. So each time you ride a loop and you cross over the center line, just imagine that you are dividing the arena up. And this little trick can make it much easier for you to visualize how big your loops need to be because it's much easier for you to stand in the arena and separate it into three equal parts than it is for you to stand in the arena and plan out a 13 meter circle. So if you are having difficulty in making sure that all your loops are of the same size, then this is a handy little tip which you may find useful.